So this will be a quick little durability test between the brand spanking new iPhone 11 Pro Max versus a car, as you can see. All right, so this will be an interesting video. I'm very curious to see how this will turn out uh, for the car and for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I have a feeling I know who's gonna win here, but uh, let's just uh, find out. All right, so as you can see, let me go ahead and just grab the, the iPhone. All right, it's kind of windy out here, guys, so if it's kind of windy on the audio, not really gonna, no, nothing, nothing I can really do about that. It is what it is. Um, so let's check out the phone first, as you can see. iPhone 11 Pro Max in the gold colorway, as you can see. Triple camera setup and all, shaver cameras. You feel me? And I got a little bit of a cold too, so my bad on that. But um, yeah, let's check out the phone. So you can see this is a real phone, real iPhone 11 Pro. So you can see, let's see, let's go to settings and all that. And um, let me go to general and then about phone. Okay, iPhone on iOS 13, so you can see. All right, so guys, this is a real phone. This is not a dummy or clone or anything like that. Authentic iPhone 11 Pro Max purchased from Apple, delivered to my location, etc. All that good stuff, all that good stuff. All right, so let's just go ahead and move forward with this quick little test. This shouldn't take too long. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the phone where it was right there behind the tire I'm going to put the car in reverse and then essentially running the device over and let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to let this plane kind of pass. You interrupting my video, yo. Come on, plane. Move along. All right, cool. Anyway, so that's that. So then what I think will be kind of fun also is I'm going to go ahead and record on the iPhone uh, don't allow that here's the video all right so this is the rear-facing camera and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record right now is it recording yes it is it is recording and then as it's recording I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here so this should be kind of fun check that out so it's recording right now. My bad, like I said, I got a little bit of a cold. It's kind of windy too. It's getting chilly out here. Gotta hurry up and finish this. All right, anyway, um, check that out. So this should be kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread the legs on the Manfrotto tripod and I'm gonna just place it like this. And uh, let's see, what's a good height? Okay, right there. And then I'm gonna See, can I adjust this a little bit? Boom, how does that look? Front and center. There you go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get in the car, put the car in reverse. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then let's just see what happens right now. So if you guys are wondering, I have a Sennheiser Lab mic. So that's why you can still hear me. All right, so let's... Uh, Hold on a second. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty good. All right, let's do this. Get in the car. <sighs> ah, like I said, my bag got a little bit of a cold right meow. All right, got this plane. All right, I'm gonna let this plane pass by. I don't want a plane interrupting. Yeah, here we go. What is it, Southwest? Yup, I think it's Southwest. All right, that plane's gone. Cool. I'm gonna get in the car right now. All right, put the car in reverse, and then let's uh, let's just see what happens. Make sure the car is gonna go straight, and let's go. Well, 
that wasn't too bad. Oh! Oh! Forgot where my camera was. Almost knocked it over. Woo! All right, so let's um, assess the damage. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just stop that. All right, so what happened here? Here's the, uh, hold on a second, let me. All right, here's the device and let's check it out. Oh, and yes, there is some damage. Check out them, I'm gonna try to get in here. Check out the um, the camera lens right there. It's cracked. Oh! And then let's see where else is damage. It's got marks here on the that part of the phone, so you can see on the top right in the back. And uh, let's see. You know what? The glass is not even cracked. Well, I gotta say, all things considered, did pretty good. I'd have to say, did pretty good. I mean, the glass is not even cracked or anything. Well, the camera lens is cracked. But other than that, I was kind of thinking this will get cracked. It's not even cracked. Well, all... What's up, bird? All things considered, pretty good. Now, obviously, the front... Yeah, the front's clean. Cool. I wonder how that video came out. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and um and the bird's going nuts out here. Let's run the camera again. And then let's see if it's affected. Okay, here it is. And then I'm gonna go here. And then the two. I don't know, I can't tell that the camera lens is cracked. It still looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more test. Actually, I'm gonna run the camera again. Okay, and uh, let's see. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually run the front facing camera. And then I'm gonna just place it this way. As you can see, look at that. So I'm just gonna go the other way, go backwards, and then see what happens. See, that sounds about, or it looks about right. Let me just make some adjustments here. There you go. Get in the car again. And then just go in reverse and then let's see what happens. Make sure the car's straight and let's go. There it is. All right, now where's my um, camera? I don't want to do the same thing I did. Turn the car off. All right, let's check this out. Oh, my bad, man, got a little bit of a cold. Check, check this out. All right, check out the display. Oh, look at that.
a little bit of a little bit of dirt. I'm gonna take it out here. A little bit of dirt. Now I just realized I don't think I actually pressed record. Shoot, my bad. Ha ha. But anyway, I'm surprised that the screen is not cracked. Wow. It's one durable phone actually. I'm kind of I'm quite impressed. Look at this. There's no cracks on the display. Look at that. It's clean. Clean AF. Didn't even look like I ran over by a car. Wow. Gotta say, I'm quite impressed. Man, this phone is a tank, as it turns out. No cracks on the back glass. Oh, but check that out, though. Oh, there we go. Some damage on the camera lens right there. Whoa, look at that. Got pieces of glass missing. All right, so that's damage. But other than that, I'd say it did pretty well. Let's go ahead and run the camera again, um, just to kind of. Oh yeah, it's the um, it's the wide angle that's kind of messed up, so you can see. So it's kind of like it almost has like that Instagram filter. And then I go to this one. This is the regular zoom, the just the regular one X, and this is the two X. Both still look pretty good, but. The half X, yeah. Yeah, kind of messed up. Looks kind of cool though. Like I said, like Instagram filter. So I'm gonna take a picture right now. Here, I'm gonna put this in the video. I'm gonna take a picture of the wide angle with a messed up glass. Put that in the video, let me know how that looks. Look at that. Overall, not too bad. I'm actually quite impressed that this phone is essentially, other than that glass, still pretty good. I mean, the back glass is not cracked. Front glass is not cracked. <laughs> I am quite impressed. This phone survived. Cool. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this quick little test. So rest assured that if you're in an unfortunate situation where you drop your phone and a car runs over it, it might actually survive. So for the most part, except for the camera lens, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out.